Hi there, in this video we're going to go through the ALU. Now remember when we talked about the Universal Turing Machine, we needed to operate on the inputs in some way. Well, this is where the operations come in. Okay, so in this ALU we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven functions. And we can choose the functions here from a 3 to 8 decoder. And the inputs from the decoder are going to come from the control unit. So if I get into the decoder, we, we've seen this before in the RAM section. The RAM section we did a 4 by 16 decoder, so this is a 3 by 8 decoder. It takes the three inputs and produces the um, eight outputs. Okay, so let's go back to the ALU. Now, at the moment, there's 0, 0, 0 in the decoder, so it's actually choosing um, the least significant bit here. So it's going to an enable section. Now the enable section, we've seen one of these before as well. It's just a, a pass through, so it passes this value here through here if the enable goes high. Again, we've seen that in the RAM already. So we can choose each of these outputs here, and we can pass the output to out. We can pass the function output here to the output of the um, the ALU by choosing the particular values here. You can see them get into that enable and run at that enable, etc. And we also have carryouts as well. The carryouts can come from uh, both the shift left, shift right and the adder. Now uh, let's have a, a look and we'll, we'll look inside the adder section first of all. So I'll make that a little bit bigger. Okay so that's the adder. We have a carry in and a carry out. So the carry in comes in in the least significant bit and it goes out to in, the carry out to carry in, and working its way up towards the most significant bit. And the inputs are input A, which is an 8 bit input, and input B is an 8 bit input, and each of the A and B go to the respective A and B's of the, uh, the, the sum sections here. Okay, so uh, let's look inside here, and that's a typical full adder. So let's quickly go through the the full adder. I've already drawn this up here to so it's a wee bit quicker. Now in order to add two uh, one uh, bit numbers you, there's four different ways of adding. So you, if we're adding down the way here so you can add 0 plus 0 and get a 0. You can add 0 and a 1 and get a 1. You can add a 1 and a 0 and get a 1. Or you can add a 1 and a 1 and get a 0. Okay. And if you get a zero there, you have a carry one, okay, into the next most significant bit. So you can see how you're going to build it, really looking at this uh, truth table, because that's the truth table for an exclusive OR. So if you take both inputs and you exclude the exclusive OR of them, you'll get the sum, okay. Now, in order to get the carry, well, the carry is easy, because you want the carry to go high when both inputs go high, which is an AND gate. So you put that through an AND gate and you'll get the carry. Now that's a half adder. The reason why it's called a half adder is because it's not really of any value because in order to set these things up so that we have the least significant bit getting into the next most significant bit, we would need to have a, a an input here. So we need to have a, a carry in as well. So the drawing below this does the full adder, which is a, a carry in as well as the carry out. And you've got two half adders, so that's the exclusive OR and the AND, exclusive OR and the AND, and uh, both of these are OR together at the carry out. So let's have a wee look at it in Logisim, and we'll see it working. Okay, so I can make that a wee bit bigger so you can easier to see. So at the moment we've got a zero, 0, coming in, we've got a 0 coming out, and a, a 0 coming out, because there's a carry in the 0 as well. So if we put a 1 in here, we put a 1 in A, we get a 1, the sum is 1, so it's 1 plus 0 is 1, and the carry is 0. And if we make that a 0 and make that a 1, again it's 0 plus 1 is 1, and it's a carry 0. And if we make both them 1, then we get a sum is 0, and it will carry out 1. Now if we put the carry in on, then again we've got a 1 as the sum, and 0 as the carry, because you're doing 1, 0, 0. And if you um, have a 1 in here, uh, then we're going to have a uh, 0 to sum and carries a 1, or if you have a, a 1 in there, the 0 to sum carries a 1, and if you have 1, 1, 1, 
then you're going to have a, a one in and the uh, carry out is going to be a one okay so that's the the other section now let's make this a bit smaller again so you can get the whole lot in there we go so that's the other section there there's a shift right maybe down in here now okay you can see that there yeah well that's just a uh, a little register which this is the same as what we had in the, the ram there's another one there so we'll just drop in to have a look at them so i've tied i tied both of the uh the set and enable together because we're not actually interested in using it as a register it's just really as a, a pass through okay so um if we come back up to the there we go and get the shift register okay so we're taking the value of this register and the least significant bits get shifted out and the most significant bit here gets shifted in okay so that's one shift okay and if i look at the, the shift left we do something similar but in this instance here we we shift out the most significant bit and can shift in the least significant bit so we're shifting the value and then put left or right which is handy for doing the uh, multiplications and divisions okay now the not gate it just uh, inverts the value here okay so it's just a lot of knots there we go eight knots that just invert the value of zero to a one and another one is an and gate so it just takes the, uh, the both inputs and ands them okay and the or gate takes both inputs and just ors them and gives them an output and the exclusive or exclusive or does an exclusive or on the uh, the inputs okay and it gives us output but it also gives us a um, another function which is tells us whether one value is larger or equal to another okay and this is done in this little section here okay now we've also got a uh, zero function as well okay and that's really that's really it as far as the the alu is concerned so the inputs are eight bit input eight bit input one thing to notice is that the shift left and shift right uh, only take place via the a input okay so we only need to shift one of the inputs so we've got an input a b we've got a carry in as well and we've got our choice there which is our, our three inputs to choose which function we require and these come for the control unit we have a carry out we have our output there and we have a zero out and we also have a an equal or larger there as well so that there is the, the alu that's all i want to say about it uh, the next video we'll see if we can look at the the top level hierarchy and we can see how this hangs together with the registers to uh, produce a, 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 the the cpu okay thanks for listening goodbye